Assalamu alaikum Zakir bhai I was a Hindu first and I converted into Islam recently what I would like to ask you a question is this that when a woman is carrying a baby in a womb Islam forbids abortion but if a woman is facing some kind of a medical problem if she's anemic or if she has just delivered a baby recently in recent months to come and there's always a threat to her life non-muslims doctors say to abort it and when the muslim doctors say it is haram and someone who's a little bit modern has said that if the child is for 40 days in the womb before 40 days you can abort it after 40 days it is not possible you cannot do it under islamic law is that right or is that wrong the brother asked a question that is speaking that today scientifically the doctors who want to abort etc why does quran does not give permission to abort if it's danger to the life of the mother. Quran speaks about abortion in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 151, as well as in Surah Isra, chapter 17, verse number 31. It says, kill not your children for want of sustenance. For it is Allah that will provide sustenance to you and your children. For killing of infants is a major sin. So abortion is haram under normal circumstances. For example, pork is haram. Alcohol is haram. Having dead meat is haram. But same time the Quran says in four different places. In Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 173. In Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 3. In Surah Anam chapter 6 verse number 145. And Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse number 115. It says that if unwillingly, if you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is Rahman or Rahim. If under compulsion, if you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is Rahman or Rahim. If you are dying of hunger, Pork is the only dish that you can have. Pork becomes halal for you. It's perfectly halal, but don't have so much and keep on having after you don't require it. If you're in a jungle, if pork is the only thing that you can find to eat, or in a desert, pork becomes a lot for you only for that time. When you come back to the city, it becomes haram. The same way abortion, just because you don't want a child, is haram in Islam. It's a major sin. But if it's a danger to the life of the mother, it's totally allowed. Because in Islam, the life of the mother is more precious than the life of the child, which has not come in being on its own. I do know there are certain people who say that after 40 days, it's not allowed. Before 40, it's allowed. Quran is very clear Karnal, that if it's a danger to your life, unwillingly, if you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's totally allowed. So if the doctors say that you have certain heart problem and the labor pains will cause a strain on your heart, the mother will die. You have to abort, you have to go ahead with it. Because in Islam, you cannot sacrifice a greater loss to save a small loss. The life of the mother who's already alive and adult is more important than the child who cannot live on its own. So in these cases, if it's a danger to the life of the mother, it's totally allowed in Islam. If it's not a danger, it's haram. Hope that answers the question. <laughs>